So today may be the day the STI is going to its new home, its new owner. Someone from Colorado is flying in and they're gonna be meeting me at the airport right around noon. So before we do any work on the FRS today, I need to pull the STI out of the shop, get it cleaned up, because it's gonna be a very, very long drive all the way back to Colorado. I, I don't know how far that is. If I had to guess, probably like a thousand miles. <laughs> This thing is pretty dirty. We had this crazy rain slash hailstorm last night. So I wanted to pull this thing in the shop just in case the hail got bad enough to where it was gonna damage some cars. Unfortunately, the other car stayed outside, but this thing was being sold today. So, or potentially being sold. So I wanted to get this thing safe. That thing's also for sale. If anyone wants a very low mileage 250Z, I'll make you a damn good deal on that car. Hit me up on Instagram. Thankfully this car is ceramic coated so washing it should be a breeze. I also do want to vacuum it out. I want to just make this thing 100% perfect. I put so much time, so much effort, and so many hours into this car that I really want the new owner to enjoy it to its full potential. So let's get this thing cleaned up 100%. I have four hours until I meet him. I'm probably gonna spend an hour working on this car and then if we have time, squeeze in the FRS, then we can head out and see if he likes the car. I might as well give him the air freshener of Bobby too. If you guys want to buy one of these, hold up. If you guys want to buy a Bobby, or an air freshener with Bobby on it, one side is her, the other side is the Genesis Coupe. Um, she has them for sale on her website. She has this website up, bobbytherain.com. I'll have it linked. I'll throw it down in the description box below. I know all you guys love Bobby, so if you want to support her and support her channel, bobbytherain.com, you can cop some air fresheners. This thing is all finished up. We threw a bit of tire shine on there. It's crazy how much of a difference tire shine actually makes like as a whole on the car. This thing is looking absolutely amazing. Probably the best it's ever looked. The cleanest it's ever looked. I'm freaking hyped on it. I'm pretty sad to see it go, but honestly, it deserves someone who's actually gonna drive the car. With me, it literally just sits up there all day. So this thing's all good to go. We have about two hours. That gives us a few minutes to work on this car. So the first things we are gonna do is finish up what we started yesterday. I need to raise this bag a little bit because when I air out, it actually pushes up on the fender and makes that side skirt rip off. Bunch of stuff I don't really feel like dealing with. So I'm gonna raise that bag up a little bit. This side camber needs to come out a little bit. So probably a half a degree of positive camber. And then this fender needs to be adjusted. This gap is super, super tight. As soon as we get all that done, if we have time, we can finish building our little splitters we're making. I'm not really sure what I was catching on, but I pulled on the fender a little bit and it popped out exactly to where it should be. So that was a very easy fix. Let's raise this bag up a little bit. I'll probably have to go up 
maybe like an eighth to a quarter of an inch nothing crazy it's about 12 psi in the bag right now and as you can see it's you cannot fit anything in there so it needs to go up just a tiny bit so i don't destroy the fender and the side skirt I'm gonna go ahead and call that a day right there. We pulled out the camber a little bit. As you can see, it's like a 100% flush fitment. You can see just the lip of the wheel, a tiny, tiny bit. And this side, it's honestly still maybe a tiny bit low. I don't know, maybe in the future I'll raise it up another eighth inch or so, but yeah, same look, just the lip of the wheel. Looks absolutely amazing. Let's move on to, hold up, let me turn this compressor off. Let's move on to this front end. So it's about a week, week and a half ago, we built these little side splitters. The main reason I built them was to hide this cutout section right here that we had to do for clearance issues. So they run along the front and then come up on the side and attach here and it completely hides that cutout. I thought it'd look fine without it and it does look pretty good without it, but I think it would look better if the splitter just ran across the whole bottom of the front lip. And I decided that is the only place I'm gonna have the green, the green pinstriping. I have it on the bottom of the skirts and I think it'll look just perfect along the whole bottom of the bumper, AKA the splitter. I pulled it off that center section right there. So I'm gonna get these side splitters back up on there, grab a piece of cardboard, make a template, the same way I made those, and then make it out of ABS plastic. So this is literally all we have to make for the center splitter. It's gonna sit right up in there, just like that. Nothing crazy guys. I'm just adding it on, making these things come all the way across so we can run that green pinstriping all the way across and make it very, very even looking. All we have to do is transfer this over to the ABS plastic sheet I have and cut it out, drill it onto the bumper and we should be able to get the bumper back on the car. Well, there is the completed look. I'm pretty hyped with how it came out. Once again, guys, this is completely for looks. That is nothing whatsoever aerodynamic wise. If I took it on the track, it'd probably rip that splitter off. It's just held on by screws. I did take one piece of advice from some of you guys. You had mentioned on my Instagram that the side splitters we made weren't rounded to follow the front lip. And I took the time and rounded those things out so they look a lot better. I'll show you guys what I mean. Right here, they used to just come out, be a square, and then shoot straight back. I completely rounded it off to match that lip 100% 100% perfectly, and that looks so much better. Thank you guys for giving me that little tip. Looks much better. We're pretty much all done. We just gotta get it up on the car, and then as soon as the new green pinstriping, or yellow, yellow, green, whatever, I don't know what color that is, fluorescent. Uh, as soon as that pinstripe comes in, we can line the bottom of that splitter and be on our merry way. Well, it's about that time, guys. Let's go deliver this thing.
Take care, man. I hope you do. Yeah. <laughs> See you, bro. Sad. I know, right? We put like a hundred hours in that car and drove it for like ten hours, maybe. Yeah. A total of ten hours. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, boys, as you just saw, the STI is officially gone. He is making his way back all the way to Colorado Springs, which is like a 15-hour drive. Absolutely crazy Goodbye. that he, yeah. It's wild. It's so weird how he found out about the car. I know. He found the STI transformation video we did on that car like two weeks ago and found my found me on Instagram, shot me a message, and then he flew out here and bought the car, which is freaking wild. It's a far drive, but that just goes to show the power of social media. Is uh it's pretty dope. Mm hmm What's next? What's next? We gotta get rid of some other cars. No, 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 no. What? No. What? No touch. Take a right. Ah, he, baby, no, 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 no. Why? I'm gonna pee my pants. I'm gonna pee my pants. No touch, no talk. Babe? How long have you had these wheels for? A baby. What is this? <gasps> I honestly have no idea. You destroyed, that is like a massive fucking popcorn missing. That's what the look of it is. It's not a curb. A curb is like this. That is. You want to know the good thing? You want to know the good thing, babe? Bobby? Are you crying? If I'm ready to. You want to know the good thing? Look at the rest of the wheel. It's the only one that's destroyed. I found you. I found Bobby a set of 19 inch specked out VSXX works for this car for $2,000. Damn cheap. But she didn't want to cop them. Good thing you didn't have works on this car right now because you yeah, that's, that's just why I don't get expensive wheels is because shit happens like that. And I don't even I honestly have no idea where that came from. It had to be a pothole or that thing I just told you about. Shut up! I've never just randomly appeared or had damage appear on my car without knowing. <laughs> Baby, I literally cannot even think. Well, at least all the damage is on wheel, one wheel, so you can either replace it for like two hundred bucks or I can get your tire peeled off fix it recode it for free so right now we're headed to the gym i'm gonna bring you guys along it's gonna be a back workout um so skip the rest of the video if you don't give a damn about me working out but be before we before we <coughs> skip before we go to the gym serious question new corvette c8 just came out it's about sixty thousand dollars toyota supra right now is about sixty thousand dollars for the new one the mark V. nissan r35 gtr is about 60k for to use the one Comment down below, R35, C8, or Mark V Supra. Drop a comment down below. What's your What's your pick? Did you have Corvette in there? Yeah, it's a new C8. That's the one. Bobby says C8. I say R35. What do you guys say? You say R35. I'm not saying I'm going to buy one. I'm just curious on you guys' opinion. But little do they know. Ready? So I'm just gonna throw the exact workout we are doing on the screen. Bobby is gonna be training back with me. Huh? Water. Oh yeah, my water. Bobby's gonna be training back with me. I'm gonna throw it on the screen, but enjoy this little wannabe edit. I don't have my gimbal with me and Bobby's filming. How, how steady can you be? Not Pretty very, steady? Not very steady. Yeah. We just switched over to a new gym. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is so people don't stalk Bobby. Or should I tell him what it is? Oh. Yeah, Bobby's getting a lot of stalkers these days. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is, but enjoy this video edit.
Gold start for the boys. Okay. What is that? Is that quiet? That is it for today's video, boys. Really hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. I'll see you tomorrow's vlog. What? You're not gonna vlog tonight?